Hello, in this video, we are going to see how we can generate an encrypted Ethereum wallet using Golong. So in the last video, we saw how we can generate a wallet. We know that a wallet has three main parts, the private key, the most important part, and this part should be stored in a secure place and never shared with other people. We have also the public key. So this public key is used to check and verify the encryption of a transaction. And we have the third part, the address. We can share it with other people so we can receive money. Okay. Now, what is an encrypted wallet? An encrypted wallet is encrypting the private key using a password. So we have the plain text generated private key and we add to it a password then pass it through a symmetric algorithm in this case the aes 128 symmetric algorithm so at the end we get an encrypted private key even if a person can get this encrypted private key so he can do anything with it he need the password to be able to use it and encrypt transactions so this add another layer of security to our private key so this encrypted wallet is called a key store file okay so let's jump inside visual code and start coding okay so let's first create the key store okay so the key store is the encrypted wallet let's use the key store sub package contained inside go ethereum okay so the first parameter is the output directory so where we are going to output our key store okay so a folder called wallet the next parameters are used for the encryption so we are using the default ones so we can find them inside the key store package standard script n and standard script p as a result we are going to get a key store so let's call it key so now we need to create an account and to do that we use our key store dot new account okay so here we need to pass our passphrase or password so let's create a password and use it here this new account give us an account and an error so let's handle the error and let's print the address of the account this is our public address so let's check the wallet folder inside it there is a file the key store okay so it contains some properties used to encrypt the private key for example the cipher the symmetric algorithm that is used to encrypt the private key the cipher text so this is the encrypted private key and other properties that are not important for now so we can go back to them later and now let's see how we can decrypt this file and get our private key from it okay before let's comment this part and open this generated key store file to do that we are going to use iutil package so this read file takes as an argument the file okay as a result we got a slice of bytes and an error now let's see how we can decrypt this file okay so we need our password i am going to uncomment it to decrypt this file we need to use a function called decrypt key in the key store package the first argument is the slice of bytes so this is our key store file and the second argument is our password the decrypt key give us a key and an error so let's handle the error as the last video let's first use our crypto sub package from elliptic curve digital signature algorithm we pass to it key dot private key okay as a result we got our slice of bytes but we cannot convert it directly to a string but we need to 
uncode it and to uncode it we need to use another sub package of go ethereum called hex util okay dot uncode and we pass to it the private data this uncode return to us a string so we can now print our private key okay so let's run our script and see the result okay this is our private key so let's try to get this public address from the private key first we need to generate the public key and to do that we use crypto dot from ecdsa public we have to pass the public key and to get the public key we need to use key dot private key dot public key as a result we got a slice of white we can use this same hex util dot encode to encode the public key so we can get a string representation of our public key and finally to get the public address so the address that we can share with other people so they can send us money we have to use crypto sub package dot pub key to address okay and we pass the public key okay so as a result we got an address so the address has a function called hex so this function return to us a string representation of our address okay so now we can print it and see the result let's run our script and compare if we got the same address okay and yes we got the same address you can see that this is the private key we have the public key so this one is the public key and we got our public address okay now let's try to decrypt this wallet using a wrong password okay so let's add for example another d here okay and let's try to run our script and see the result we got an error could not decrypt key with given password okay so with this wallet we added another layer of security even if a person get this file he cannot do anything with it because it is encrypted okay so he need the password to decrypt it and to be able to make transactions okay so this is all for this video i hope you learned something thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye